Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. I've always been a huge fan of Guy Ritchie films like for example Sherlock Holmes and King Arthur because they use those awesome super slow-mo scenes in those fights. And of course, they shot those scenes with high-speed cameras which are very, very expensive. But I found a nice solution in Adobe Premiere Pro to fake those effects so without any further ado, let's get started. Now first, we need to shoot our shots. My first tip here is to shoot with a high shutter speed. Now you probably can't shoot in a high frame rate, so we're gonna wanna replicate that with our shutter speed. Now I'm going for a shutter of at least 1 400th of a second. Once we've got our shot, drop it in Premiere Pro. And now, let's create this awesome effect in almost no time. Now first, right click on the effects button in the upper left corner of your clip. Then select time remapping, speed. Now we can speed ramp the video. And if you don't know what speed ramping is, it's basically playing around with different timings of your shot. So going fast and gradually going slower and fast again. Now scroll in the timeline until you find a moment where you want it to go slower. Then use Ctrl and click or use P which brings up the pen tool to create a keyframe. I'm already gonna place a second keyframe a bit further in time for where I want it to go in normal speed again. Now the space between these keyframes is gonna be slowed down, so drag it down until it reaches 0%. Well actually the slowest it can go in Premiere is 1%. Then use the handles and open them up a bit to create a ramp. Make the ramp a bit smoother. You can do this by dragging the levers. And if we now play this, it will be a bit choppy. So we're gonna use a trick to make it more smooth. Now why is it choppy you might ask? Well. We're currently showing frames that don't exist, so we're skipping from one frame into the other without any frames between it. Now hit Ctrl R on your keyboard and this brings up the clip speed and duration panel. Set the time interpolation to optical flow and hit OK. You can also right click on the clip in your timeline, go to time interpolation and select optical flow from there. Now Premiere will now create new frames between the ones that are actually missing. Now this can look like complete crap in some cases, so it all depends on the movements that you've done while recording. Now, now let's have a look at our results. I'm quite happy with the look of this. Now of course we've only made one speed ramp, but you can make as many as you like. Now since this effect is quite simple and fast to create, you can always reshoot a shot if the movement isn't good enough for the optical flow to fix it. Another problem that can make it look like crap is your background. Now we chose a simple background without too much texture, but as you notice, even in our shot we also had a problem with the line in the background right here. Now you can solve this problem by looking for a background with almost no lines or texture, or you can create a lot of depth between yourself and the background, making it way more blurry. And if your camera shoots higher frame rates already, like 60 frames per second for example, shoot in depth mode, that will also make it less choppy and crappy looking. And of course, you don't have to go to 1% speed if you don't want it. You can also take another percentage. Now guys, I quickly want to mention the Mars 400S Pro from Hollyland, a tool that I really enjoy while filming. And thanks again to Hollyland for sending us this awesome unit. Now why do I enjoy using it? Well, it's a video transmitter that has some great advantages, which I will mention in a second. The best part for me is the fact that you can pair it with your phone by using the Hollyview app. That way when someone is filming me, I never have to leave my spot. I can just take out my phone, check it, view the playback, and if the shot is not good, I can immediately shoot it again from the same spot where I'm standing. Now like I mentioned, the Mars 400S Pro has some other great functions as well. You can set the different types of transmission. So either you focus on the quality, where it focuses on the quality, but it goes a bit slower. Or you can also change it to speed, where you may notice a bit of quality loss, but the transmission speed will be way faster. Now thanks to the smart pairing, your transmitter and receiver are immediately paired when turning it on. Super useful. There are also multiple channels on the transmitter, which you can easily switch between. But why would you want to use a video transmitter in the first place, you might ask? Well, I've recently posted an entire tutorial about how to use it for multi-camera purposes. So definitely check it out by hitting the link in the top right corner right over here or in the description down below. Now, like I mentioned, I love the connection with the app so that I or other crew members can follow along from their phone. Now, if you're also interested in one of those transmitters, then definitely check out the link down below. But anyway, that's it for today guys, a quick and easy way to get smooth super slow motion in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, like and share this video. I'll see you guys next week and as always, stay creative.